full of wonder. It's what makes us human. We dreamed of talking through wires. We dreamed of walking on the moon. Those who dared to dream sometimes looked foolish. Sometimes they were told it's impossible. Sometimes even they had their doubts. But that vision in our mind inspires us to try. Our passion drives persistence and leads us to progress. Our dream fills us with fearless determination. At Huawei, we believe dreams inspire creativity. We champion dream makers who dare to dream big and act bold. That's why we don't innovate for innovation's sake. We innovate to help people make their dreams possible. So that was the world of Huawei and an inspirational video which shows how we make the impossible we are possible. Full of wonder. So, uh, before we go any further, I would like to invite on stage Mr. P. Sanjeev, the Vice President Sales, Huawei Consumer Business Group, to talk, us, uh, talk to us more about the brand and the big announcement today. So, Sanjeev, can we have you on stage, please? Hello. Yeah, good afternoon. Oh, I see a lot of familiar faces today. Thanks for coming. All right, so I'm just going to quickly run through a couple of slides uh, before we actually, you know, get into what we have to announce. Um, just to build, some of you already have your guesses. Um, something that's made uh, Huawei what it is today is um, we've been a visionary challenger all throughout and primarily because of two core attributes. One is uh, customer centricity and the second is our DNA is to keep innovating. And that has actually pushed us to, you know, uh, be a challenger in the market and that's why you know wherever we go across the world and whenever I travel I keep seeing new things new developments in Huawei and we keep trying to challenge the traditional you know uh, things to do uh, what has that actually got us so last year we saw a 70% uh, growth and we became uh, you know almost like 20 billion dollars uh, consumer devices company out of the 60 billion dollars uh, of the Huawei group so that's like 33% of the revenue uh, from consumer device, uh, you know, contributes to the overall group. That's actually increasing our importance to the whole group. That's uh, a very important phenomenon. Uh, the other thing is the market share globally. So uh, we're proudly number three now as per GFK, 9.9% uh, of uh, global market share. And um, as we have uh, told you earlier, we have uh, also got into the prestigious uh, top 100 global interbrand list. Among the number, we are number 88. And on the brands, uh, top 100 most valuable uh, brands, we are number 70. So that uh, puts us in a very uh, prestigious group. And uh, two other things that you probably did not know earlier is number one is that China, uh, China has actually uh, given Huawei the best quality award. Um, as a Chinese, uh, you know, uh, multinational company. And the second thing is for two consecutive years, as per the Vipo list, uh, we've been the number one in terms of the patent uh, applicants, application as well. <laughs> well, uh, 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 you know what we did uh, last year, uh, a decent success for us, uh, getting us into that niche premium segment, encouraging us to bring the Huawei's premium product to the country, the Nexus 6P. Uh, having said that, uh, so what's next? Uh, I'm sure there are lots of guesses. I'm going to leave it here for Priyanka. Imagine a time 
where fashion and technology no longer collide, but embrace. That moment is now, in this time and place. Fashion revolutionizes our past. Technology realizes our future. They meet gracefully in this very moment to create a timeless classic. Innovative, yet discreet. Powerful, but elegant. Now, it's part of your look and part of your life. A wearable to be worn. The Huawei Watch. Timeless design, smart within. Well, la ladies and gentlemen, that was the much-awaited Huawei Watch that everybody here in India has been waiting for, launching today. And Sanjeev is, will tell us more about the watch now. So a couple of uh, nice questions that actually came to me. I can't see the slides here. Yes, so uh, there were lots of interesting questions that were asked to me. So, what is this? Is it a, is it a wearable? Is it a smartwatch? What is it? So, we call it the Huawei Watch, primarily because of the timeless classic design, coupled with the smart, uh, you know, technology within. So, let's have a quick look at it. Uh, the timeless design bit of it. So, this has been made. Uh, more of a watch, so it's a watch. Uh, the designers have actually been inspired by Swift, uh, Swiss craftsmanship. So let's have a look at uh, what goes within to make it uh, a real Swiss craftsmanship watch. It's a full circle design, a 42 mm, you know, diameter uh, narrow frame. It's uh, completely classic, and uh, it's suitable for both male and female. Um, a true watch, actually. You know, the, the personality of a true watch is defined by three key components. The, uh, the, the so-called the crown, uh, the two o'clock directional crown, the frame, the way that frame is actually made, and the, the curved uh, lugs on the, on, the, on the edges. So uh, that's the uh, component design that actually Huawei chose to make this watch. Um, and the next thing that was inspired by the Swiss uh, watches was uh, the sapphire crystals. We all know that uh, you know, in transparent, uh, um, you know, uh, uh, the strongest uh, uh, element. So we have diamond, and then we have sapphire crystal. So we chose to use sapphire crystal for the display, and um, the thickness is barely 11.3 mm, and it's it's pretty light, though it looks, you know, uh, it might look heavy if it, if you look at it as a, as a steel version. But I would encourage you to have a look at the samples later. It's a pretty compact and light design, and it's apparently the highest resolution in screen watches. It's a 1.4-inch AMOLED display with a 400 cross 400 uh, uh, screen resolution with a 286 PPI pixels per inch, and a, and a 10,000 to 1 uh, high contrast ratio. Uh, so this is what we call as a pure craftsmanship. So there, this watch has over 130 plus components, and 260 steps to manufacture, to make it, or craft it rather. And out of the 260 steps, 160 steps is handmade. And that's why, you know, it's actually made like a watch and not like a gadget. It's not a, you know, pure gizmo gadget. And um, it's gone through 650 plus uh, uh, hours of quality testing because, you know, the number of processes that it goes through. So if you look at all the processes that it's gone through, the punching, the CNC cutting, the polishing by hand, the precision, precision assembly. So some of you, you know, if you would like to come and see how this watch has been crafted, most of us have heard about the Swift, Swiss uh, crafting, but, but we've actually tried to do a pretty good job uh, on this watch. Uh, 40 plus uh, watch faces, and then of course many more that can be downloaded from the, uh, you know, your Play Store. 
but uh, very nice smart watches that's already preloaded and all of this puts together that traditional timeless design that we are all used to a watch a watch and a watch and then what did we do we wanted to make it smart and put the technology bit into it um, apart from the smart timepiece we put features like the world time the you know voice calling so so some of my friends were asking can you make and accept calls yes you can with this watch you can do that and i try to do that some uh, uh, i actually took a very long drive recently so i use this a lot you know to switch over to make calls etc and messages uh, you can read them and then you can actually uh, you know type it uh, through voice uh, basically so you, obviously you can't type it on the screen but you can do a, a voice um, you know respond and uh, email pops up pretty neat clean uh, gives you the information and the other beautiful thing is the calendar so beautiful updates about the calendar your coffee meetings your day-to-day uh, -day events etc beautifully popping up and you just have to swipe it to clear it up and uh, Facebook updates and Google now I'm, I'm so much used to it because I'm a Nexus 6P user so now I really know the, the the features of Google now and you can switch between Bluetooth and Wi-Fi uh, when you pair the devices uh, smart tracking features so we have uh, um, a six uh, point axis um, you know motion sensor and a barometric uh, sensor um, gives you I mean all the tracking that you require um, and of course your health tracking with the PGP uh, PPG uh, you know heart rate uh, monitor and um, the charger is interesting it's a magnetic charger uh, uh, a, a small poco pin charger uh, so it has a 300 mAh lithium battery um, and of course with a power saving design and it just takes 1.5 hours for a complete charge um, and of course supports multiple third-party apps so that's the Huawei watch for you folks I think you pretty well went through what's the difference between uh, a normal smartwatch and what Huawei is actually trying to bring as a watch here so we have the timeless design coupled with the, the smart elements into it so um, that's my presentation right now and um, uh, the much awaited uh, information, I know most of you would like to quickly get there. Uh, Priyanka, can I? Any guesses on the price, guys? Okay, any guesses on the price? Okay, first for the availability, we have, we've partnered with uh, uh, Flipkart immediately to get it down here. And uh, it'll go for sale very soon, this afternoon. This is Ajay, why don't you tell us the price? Okay, so it's going to be 22 triple nine. Okay, so uh, they can go to go ahead to have a look. Yeah, at the watches. yeah. Any questions before we go to the experience zone to have a look at the watches? We have five different designs present here for you guys, and uh, which you can see, you can click pictures and remember the hashtag hashtag TikTok. So that's the hashtag of the watch. Any questions? Sanjeev is here. Please feel free to ask him.